A very heartbreaking news for young promising adults being taken at the moment to bury because somebody um, took their lives. It is reported, although in a very sketchy manner, that four young promising adults were unalived uh, somewhere in Auchi, Edo State, Nigeria, because an ex wanted to take a revenge. From the report, um, a particular ex, uh, which currently is being alleged to uh, named Pecula, uh, wanted to take the life of um, our ex and then poisoned a portion, whether a plate or a pot at the moment, we don't know, or pepper soup. Unfortunately, this particular um, boy now shared the portion of pepper soup that is already poisoned with his friends. And as we can see, all four of them gone. From close um, observation, one of the friends may be a girl and is looking like that may be the current girlfriend of the boy or maybe the current girlfriend of one of the boys that may have been diseased. While we are expecting full-blown investigation to this matter and report of what exactly happened, but social media commentators are insisting that this may just be a miss for the girl to have taken revenge but went on to unfortunately taking the lives of his other friends. People are saying we should be careful of what we eat around our friends, we should be careful of our, the outcome of relationships around our friends and we should also be able to guide our friends about the, the involvement and their relationships they get into. However, there are quite very, very um, strange happenings in our days where people take laws into their hands or to react people are heartbroken and a lot of things are happening these days people are depressed emotionally bastardized and several things if what social media commentators are, are, are saying is anything to go, go by this particular teenage girl by name peculiar is being accused to have been the mastermind or perpetrator of this particular crime while we cannot confirm this at the moment but it's looking like it may just be another case of a young samlari okay sorry <laughs> i take that back <laughs> all right so it's quite unfortunate and this is calling for um concerns from all and sundry it is time to ask you how is your ex doing because consequently you want to ask if they were exes how did the ex um, gain access to offering him pepper soup to take that was poisoned obviously some persons are yet to stay away from their ex successfully a lot of us are still lingering in relationships that we should have left long ago and also if you know the kind of person you date you understand the mental capacity of that person what the person can do and not do the level of anger the level of love and hate the person because you see there's a thin line between love and hate most people that love too extremely also hate very extremely you should be able to open your eyes to all of these factors and it's important that we also learn to break relationships peacefully and maturely i cannot even say for now if this all these uh, semantics are, are, are right but looking at the younger and the videos the frame uh, and structures of the young persons that are diseased obviously these are teenagers or young adults who probably were not emotionally ripe or stable enough for relationships. So it begs again the question. It is not just enough because the person has got breasts and nyash and private parts. It is whether the person has got the mental capacity to handle it. Because relationships come with a lot, a lot and a lot of drama. Sometimes it may not go the way you want it. Only mature people take the experiences and lessons of relationships and take it further to their bettering their own lives. A lot of people will not be able to handle the outcomes. And that's how we see things like this happen. This is not to say that mature people do not get really emotionally bastardized and hurt and that they would not want to react. But if this person was a more mature person, she would have been able to handle it quite better. Unfortunately, some of you are dating people at the moment or have dated people at the moment who are still very bitter with you. It may be time to go and say sorry because you never can tell. It may be paper soup for this particular young um, guy, unfortunately with his friends. It can be a wedding, it can be a party can be a gun, it can be a car, 
It can be an assault. It can be a plan to kidnap. Whatever it is, it is time to make peace with the people that you stepped out of their lives wrongly. Now you know that people can go to any, any length to put um, their words, to put action to words, or to put action to their heart. It's time to apologize. And if for any reason you are breaking up with somebody, please stay away completely from that person. If you cannot be friends and you cannot ascertain that the friendship is genuine and sincere, please stay away completely. If some of you are trying to use the Okafor's law to leave people and get them back and leave them and get them back. Ultimately, he will cry last, cry the worst. Be careful. Catch another time. I hope to follow up this story and bring other very important conversations as it unfolds. Have a great day.